get on the ship. I think in about 30 minutes we'll be uh, loading, so just kind of hanging out. This is the new terminal that was built for Carnival Mardi Gras. It's Terminal 3, and uh, Carnival Liberty also goes out of here. Super nice. Got palm trees and stuff on the inside. Uh, you can definitely tell it's brand new. But only uh, Carnival Mardi Gras and Carnival Liberty go out of this one. We are getting ready to board. Okay, how many? Just one. Just one. All right, so I'm through the checkpoint. Now we're walking down to actually get on the ship. And if you haven't noticed, I am going on another cruise. I was on a cruise last week, and so this is Carnival Liberty going back to the Bahamas. Uh, this ship's a little bit bigger, but welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Mike, and uh, I appreciate you all watching this video. And this is day one and departing from Port Canaveral, going to Nassau or Nassau and uh, Princess Kays again. So let's go along for the ride, and I appreciate you guys watching again. Just wanted to say that. It's always the best part. As soon as you get on the ship and the first time you walk into Atrium, I love it. Stations are one deck up. Your rooms are going to be ready at 1 30 p.m. Until then, stay on deck nine. Your food bag. 2 p.m. They're seeing the Caribbean show right in the main line. All right, so first things first, you have to go to your muster station, so that's where I'm going. This atrium bar is a whole lot bigger than the last one on the Carnival Relation. That was the ship I was on last week. Hey, yes. How are you? Doing good. Yourself? Good. <laughs> First cruise? No, it's like my fourth. Just by yourself this cruise? By myself. <laughs> I love it. Race is your life jacket. I don't even know what deck I'm on, but I just did the, the muster station, so now I'm going to go to deck nine, see if I can get a beer. At least I think it's deck nine. There's always a bar by the casino, so I just found the casino. So let's go find a bar. If you watch my last video, you can definitely tell this ship is a whole lot bigger than the other one. Mix it up, trying the uh, parched pig, trying the parched pig toasted amber. Normally I get the wheat, but uh, it just it just didn't hit right last week, last uh, cruise. So just trying something new. Now let's go explore some more.
One thing I will say is I do like the Alchemy bar on the Elation. Here it's kind of small. I'm assuming that's a nightclub and comedy show. So this is actually only deck five. Um, you know, on the last ship, Elation, because that's the one I'll compare it to, because that's the one I just came off of. That one, deck nine had all this stuff. That was the stage bar. Looks like it's set up for karaoke. And this, I assume, is a comedy club now. It said, meet your comedian. Crazy to think how much bigger, you know, 100 feet longer, how much more room and how much more stuff they can actually fit into a ship. So one thing, uh, deck 10 was the Lido deck on Elation. On this ship, deck nine is actually the Lido deck. That's where food and everything is. Of course, they're gonna have Guy Fieri's again. They're gonna have the iguana bar, the blue iguana, the rum bar. All right, this is deck nine, the Lido deck. If it's the, like the other ship I've been on like this, this is the adults only place. Or I should say the adults only pool, actually. Uh, there's two hot tubs and a pool. There's also a pool in the center, which I'll show you, but this is where the pizza, they have a couple bars back here, or a bar back here. So they got the regular buffet, and then they got deli sandwiches, just like on the last ship. Famous ice cream. And of course, Guy Fieri's. This is the main pool. And that was the Lido deck. Real quick walkthrough. I'm just trying to get back to the atrium to go get a seat. Day one is always exciting. It's my favorite part. So if I go sit on the atrium, I can people watch as they come on the boat. All right, I was totally off. I went to deck five, because that's what the last ship had it. The bar is actually on deck two, I think. Or maybe it's three, which works out because my room's on deck two. So it's gonna be a lot closer. Since this is, at the end of the day, my favorite bar. Yep, deck three, the lobby. And here's the theater. I'll go ahead and go in here real quick while it's empty. Just to show you guys, it's pretty good size. And this really do like all the announcements, like the Wave Morning Show. Whenever they do shows, Jeez, this one's a lot bigger, I feel. Pretty cool though. I'm digging the Mardi Gras theming behind me. Goes with their, their theme, you know, the carnival, the party ship. So let's go to the atrium bar and uh, find a seat and people watch. All right, walk.
walk into my room. I am at the very front of the ship. All right, so I got my room, but I don't have my uh, ticket yet. It's my first time ever having a room with a portal, which is kind of cool. I'm excited about it. Uh, it is so it's a it's a it's a room perfect for single people, right? If you're traveling by yourself, there's one bed and there is a couch which I believe folds out. A little rough looking, to be honest. Uh, the cushion has tears and all that stuff. I'll show it to you guys. So I'm assuming the, the couch folds out, but not a bad room, not a bad room at all uh, for just me, it's cool. The TV's tiny though, the TV on my last room on uh, Carnival Relation was a lot bigger, but hey, overall, I'm excited about the room, I'm excited to be here on another cruise, and yeah, it's a, uh, see the bathroom, oh, bathroom is small again, but bigger than the last, my last cruise. It's a pretty cool room. Uh, I like it. I like the porthole. I like being able to look out and uh, see if it's daylight, nightlight, nighttime, and all that. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and head back up to the bar and uh, continue just enjoying the atmosphere. <laughs> We're about 10 minutes away from doing the sail away party. DJ's out here hyping everybody up.
everyone participate with this next song. It's super, super easy dance with an absolute classic. DJ Dan, give us a little bit of hey. Some of the best of the best to see who's got what it takes to really take this party to another level. So, we rocking, and I don't know about you, but already I'm feeling a little bit wobbly. So, the wall is my favorite song. One day, I will learn it and dance at the Delta party. But as right now, I'm happy to film it. All right, so it's about eight o'clock at night on the first night. Um, I'm feeling a little tired, so I decided to get a coffee. Um, this trip, I ended up buying the drink package, so coffee's included. And uh, just getting a little pick-me-up, and now I'm gonna go ahead and go to the piano bar to check that out, because that was a lot of fun on the last cruise, so I'm gonna see how it is on this one. <laughs> She's big. I mean, not as big as your guys. That's, that's what she said. Um, and Nippo takes ball four, three, two, slider. Yeah. All right, so I'm waiting for the welcome aboard show. And right now I am going to go to the piano bar to check that out. Music starts at nine. Uh, just trying to kill time. The show starts actually at 9.30. But the boat's rocking and I'm kind of getting sick, so I hope it speeds up so I can go to bed. And it starts with a comfort and it's made of wine and takes such a fool for her. I found a duck on this ship. It's my first one. Uh, my last duck, somebody came and stole it from me. <laughs> I put it down on the ground while I got my camera out and somebody came and took it, so I let him have it. And, but I got my first duck on this ship, so I will probably rehide it tomorrow for somebody else. So that's kind of cool. Right now we're just hanging out in the piano bar and uh, getting ready to wait for the show to start. And uh, yeah, just kind of hanging out. Long Island, all the way from Long Island, everybody. Wow, travel far, very nice. Now, Gavin, who are you here with? Who's cruising with you? We say, ooh. Now, I would like to give you this magical medallion. He has excellent control, doesn't he? We've got your bingo host, Nikki. We've got Brittany Babes. We've got your comedy club host, Cece. And we've got the beautiful Remy in the house. Now, it's going to be a lot of fun. So get ready, get ready for this, couples. You are not, she's like, what is about to happen? Oh. The, you are about to get a 40 experience at the front. So yeah, I'm just warning you all right now. All right, count it down with me in three, two, one. Get shaking! Yes. Oh! So I forgot to close out the video last night. Um, basically, I went to the welcome welcome aboard show, and then after that, I just came down to my room and uh, well, actually, I checked out the piano bar because I had fun on the last uh, boat's piano bar. I sat there for a couple songs and I just went back to my room because you know it was getting late and I wasn't feeling the greatest because the boat was kind of rocky yesterday, 
And uh, so that basically ended day one.